really quickly to go with the Arc Warden, especially. They do have a lot yeah, of control for you. Not really good armor. Build, which allows you to have like an extra nine armor, so now you don't have that. Now you just you just the alchemist armor. You've got your core versus core matchup, and then you've got the support versus support matchup, and these are the four heroes that are going to be trading hits. And Phoenix is just not good at trading mm -hmm. hits unless the Fire Spirits is up. And as Fire Spirits is up, then you True. have to take damage yourself to even spawn. So that's why I'm always apprehensive about seeing Phoenix in a 2 1 2 setup. In Tri Lands, I like Phoenix, assuming that he can eventually hit level 6. But I don't know, in 2 1 2 is a whole other thing to Bottom lane hits the joy, is gonna get destroyed, and here's the matchup. Oh wait, Pexu actually also gets the kill. No, no, Pexu got the kill on bottom lane, but in the mid lane, it's actually nine who gets the kill against Mage, thanks to the help from Beaver. Uh, nice rotation. And this is a, a matchup we haven't really talked about, but Bad Eye destroys the Enchanters. Super easy to win this lane. Honestly, there's very little ways you can actually get away from a Bad Eye without running away. And top lane, that was just FNGs playing around and scoring oh, no. As a Bat Rider, should be able to do fairly well against a went uh, against an Enchantress, but. I, I can definitely understand why Biver's moving around because, I mean, Earth Spirit's not going to offer anything in that 2 1 2 setup, but he has not really found very much. He got that kill in the mid lane, but. And he actually he managed to hit level 3, so he's getting something done. Is now Skeeter. Top lane, yeah. He's about to die, but the FNG here trying to save his life by burning the Verona up. He's out of spirits. FNG realizes why he should have played Phoenix. Oh, the stick actually saves Madara, but FNG. Sorry, the stick saves FNG and Madara as well there. And now FNG chased out. They use the arrow for vision. They have a star from FNG. Really? Don't go near him. Star from will miss. FNG gets hit by the second star. And that actually guarantees the kill as Skeeter. Tried to harass the Winter Wyvern away, couldn't do it. He does have a stun though, but the lack of boots make it so he can't get close to that Winter Wyvern. Marana arrow and mm -hmm. unstable concoction, I think it's definitely worth going for the point I got with the drum. Especially because he doesn't need to sit in his lane. He did his job. He completely shut down the Enchantress. Normally I feel like we see the drum build a little bit more when like the Bad Riders alternating between lanes and ganks and lanes and ganks. But yep. Gantz is just gonna stay off the map as much as possible. Lane. Bottom lane, we're seeing a gank against Skier this time. I think he is gonna go down, or maybe not. Murana chasing after him. They do just need one more arrow, and they do get it. Even though Mundara silenced, he does not have any leaps anyway, so it's fine. Moonlight Shadow not used. They want to continue as Biver in trouble in the tree. Starstorm killing off all the skeletons, and now Biver will also be finished off by uh, Lithium. One hero on Spirit can kill one hero on Lithium. At best, Arc Warden is able to kill off the, what, tree protector, I guess? But even that's a stretch mm -hmm. because he's probably just going to go in this. He can't kill Wyvern because of Cold Embrace and Curse. So, I don't know. Solutions are far and few between. Far and few between for Especially so, so now the Wraithing is going to die yet again because it seems like Skeeter will also survive this. They're not even concerned with the Super Bowl because they only can kill it off easily. But just four hits. Now, Tree Protector though, in trouble. The Arc Warden actually comes in and does get the kill onto Pexu as they go for Kezu as well. Without the Firefly, he's not so buff anymore. Madara forced to TP as a Team Spirit, you know, a little bit of a fre uh, breath of fresh air killing off two heroes. Not the best because you're up against an Alchemist, but you know, it's a start. Really, that you need to be like, oh, gotta go Midas. Yeah, I, that's, that's exactly the point. I think he kind of thought, oh wait, Arc Warden Midas is too good to like pass up. But yeah. that's the mess up. If you're going for a specific like weird build per se, you have to commit. Oh yeah, I was just watching Hitsa Joy again. Wow, I don't like what do you even say? This this poor Hitsa can't even show his face in the map. Kezu has his number, has his address, his mother's address, his whole family in this book. Stuff. It's scary. Yeah, and Pexu is the uh, item type that's just running out all of FNG. Nice, actually, the overdrive there. Catch up the Phoenix. Oh, the Winter Wyvern actually catches on the backside, but Nine's already died, so this is exactly what they got a Team Spirit wanted. They sacrificed the Winter Wyvern to get a perfect Winter's Curse set up. They will kill the Wraith King twice again because his whole teammates are gone. His heart's already broken, and soon his face will be as well. And the Skater just suffers the wrath of four heroes surrounding him and murder. I saw Pexu had no, his maxed out train protector Dota Plus and I was like, you better use the line. I won't even armor someone if they're aggroed by creeps because they're too stupid to drop the creep aggro. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, let, let's see because the Roshan's gonna fall down for Team Spirit. Oh, no, sorry, for uh, Lithium. Wow, that's it. He's still on the chance to take the Roshan right now. Push right now for Lithium. They don't need pushing power like you mentioned in the draft because 
They just don't. They're just winning by too much, right? That's their goal. Pretty good move if you ask me. Radiant's top tower is Ezreal. under attack. We'll go in. Firefly and ready. Uh, hoping to catch maybe the Phoenix here. I mean, obviously, ideally, they are Gordon, but our Enchantress. Yeah, Enchantress seems like the best target. Instead, go for Phoenix. It's sitting with Supernova. Mage can't be killed anyway as Mages, so that's fine for not to kill off the Phoenix. And I think she's gone. For now, though, they're a lot of damage. The Cold Embrace only saying it for a bit more. And actually, Mother Styles away has the, until, has the chemical rage, sorry. Wow. And actually activates it. Wow, did he just evade the Wraith Fire Blast? I didn't think that was possible anymore. That's exactly oh, no, 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 what I was going to say. Never mind. It, it's, a, it's a disjoint now. It's not like the. So it used to be that you were, like, banished at the split second. Yeah. And they didn't kill anyone. Now it's a disjoint. Oh, actually, so he goes in. Whoa, bullet smash. Doesn't really matter because the, the chemical rage just keeps on hitting. In fact, Skeeter comes back in to four heroes waiting for him at that store. Poor Skeeter, that force that will help out actually stopping Mage, but he still has the Aegis, and in four seconds he will have the unstable mechanical rage again. Sorry, Mage, but well, unstable conscious, stunning out a couple here, but for now, he will be losing his first life. How will they say it? Cancel doesn't have a lasso just yet. Okay, with the Mage in the ready. They do stun him out for now, since Benedict Field to increase some of the damage, but Mage, not too concerned about this. They got too close to him, Benedict Field, not the best, and the supernova wasn't completed in time. Stand because. Raytheon can't do it. What's he gonna do? Not cast Mortal Strike? He has to. Yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, talking about Mortal, uh, Raytheon shows his mortality as he dies once and perhaps twice as well. Skeeter. Can stop him at Twinkle Concussion. Four full saves. He's alive. 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 He's alive.
what do you I mean to do? You know, as lithium, where's your where's your kill potential? Blink dagger on tiny, perhaps the item that will give us. Oh, they have to go. Yeah, but they do have spike carpets. Oh no, the Shikuchi just ended. They show you Shikuchi first and the avalanche. That was a bit unfortunate. If I maybe next time we'll suffer for this. Hey, he's screwed up. Yeah, he's gonna pay a price. Let's enjoy it. Takes the kill. Top lane. They do the same thing with Madara, who's again alone. Yeah, uh, that's the also part of the Zeus coddle combination, right? Not very common to see it because we don't see coddle anymore. Oh, but yeah. It Everyone is pretty useful. Everyone theorized stuff like this and was like, oh, dude, this would be great if we could do like double lightning bolt and then no one ever runs it. But because nobody yeah. played Coddle and Zeus in the same meta, right? But you do you do see a couple combinations. What was that double? We saw the double Tidebringer with Echo Saber. That was fun. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually played in competitive for a while, which is very impressive. Also, I saw, just saw Madara died. It wasn't even worth casting because he just... Tetsu just literally ran him down with Shikuchi. He has nothing to do against this Weaver. Madara is playing support at this point. And Steve's not really protecting him. Granted... No, I mean, look at Kenzo. I mean, he's another... Everyone is, everyone is up for grabs. Yep, Snowball kills off Kezu, they catch up the Nyx with the dust, so maybe next time we'll also be going down, he can't even use Spike Corpus, in fact, the Zeus stops his ability from even hitting anyone, so maybe next time also dies, Peksu suffers the same fate. Uh, I think they should, honestly, maybe this is GG already. And then Rosham will fall, obviously, because that's another bait objective you can take as a Weaver. Okay. At least the one thing that I can give all these Wraith King picks is that I'm pretty sure they've gone for different builds like every single game. We saw the Deso Echo Saber one game. But there's gonna be the Rax being brought down. There's the push that you were talking about. The Skeeter says, screw it. I'm Wraith King, man. I got my skeletons. Reincarnation. I don't care if you kill him off with a toss. He'll withstand this and more. Yo, your turn team is slow. Yeah, and now they actually can kill Madara as well. BKB on hits to join and ensures that Madara can't even use the control plate effectively. So that's going to be dead Madara. And the GG is just, you know, seconds from being called. Really, they're pushing two lanes at the same time. Good way we're playing. Madara will give up this game number two. Meaning that we're going to be going for game number three between Spirit and Lithium. We really not really been able to see these two teams, like, actually go head to head. It's been seeming to be drafts victories both times. I don't think you can really chalk up 20... 25 minute victories to anything press the attack and she does not have the right click to be able to like rely on moment of courage procs to be able to sustain like, what about that? we'll we'll see how much creep cutting uh either either of these heroes wants to do because i think if they just go head to head against each other lead commander always comes out ahead because of damage like that and kezu is just kind of ignoring it that's a little bit surprising but i i guess he's just uh he wants to get what I, I would imagine a soul ring. Yeah, he has a soul ring. It's coming out of the courier, so that's all he's really interested in. But man, this is—it's not going to get easy. It's just going to get harder and harder. Normally, whenever I'm the broodmother in this situation, I just get cut. As we might die. Yeah. Wow. Nine takes his first block, just basically hitting him. Even takes the range creep as an extra. Yeah. He's actually going to be the most farmed hero right now, I presume. Yeah. And most leveled up, so awesome. early blink. FNG. Oh yeah, FNG's gone. You can run, but you can't hide from this. And they're just gonna run you down. Even tip him. Maybe next time. I was kind of mad about last game, so shows him. What else is he gonna do? He can't go mid, like we said. Right. That lane is a, a dead lane, as they like to call it. <laughs> Uh, maybe next time, though, the top lane does find Thomas for the Reaper side. Boom! Up in the air! What a nice, beautiful combo. Style point for these guys. Ahead to Joy. Goes for the kill on Vex. This time he is just coming for the Phoenix kill because the only kill we can actually muster. Vex not expecting this Weaver. Actually will die to him in the back fence, but now he's completely alone. TJ next time wants to go for him, and apparently, Ahead to Joy again. This greedy Weaver going for more. The Swarm really reducing him next time's armor. He's actually down to minus four. Probably takes it to get rid of it, but Hits Joy gets him. Magic Stick available. Time lapse quick. No, Hits Joy did play that perfectly with the cooldown on time lapse. Tiger afterwards. Honestly, his My biggest pumps, issue is just he, he needs more mana region to stay in the lane, but he's kept this lane under control. He did lose his tower, but that's kind of a given against a Broodmother. Oh. The mana cannot push nearly as well, but he might go for a duel. What? They just attacked the creep! Oh no! 
good, dude. Oh, sorry, nine. Sorry, nine. Supernova guaranteed as well. Oh, it's no balls. No balls, not good enough. Doesn't catch him in time. Hits a Joe has to join in the frame. The Beaver's already been burned up. This Brute Mother ate him up. And hits the Joe actually slowed down by Pexu. Pexu tired of dying. It's this pesky insect. Will die? No, it eats it. It ate the last kick because of the uh, incapacitating bite. With even a pipe, right? So it does seem like he doesn't like deviating too much from the traditional build. And it's quite common to go from the blink uh, into an axe, even though he's quite a versatile hero. Exactly. Trying to kill him, and so I can definitely see the, uh, the use of the. Oh yeah, it's Madara coming that tool. This is pretty bad. Now he's trying to kill him off quickly. Find his light goal. Might have saved him. No. They sent him to the stratosphere. Give him some dual damage to nine. As the Boomer can do that to Beaver, they do manage to get this kill. Now he goes to the Great King with a beautiful blade. Really screwing him over. <laughs> he can't go anywhere. Actually, lost his reincarnation entirely there. Wait, like he is about that much quicker. Okay, blinding light, but don't combine that with illuminate, because then you don't hate anyone. Okay, <laughs> nine does go in. No man, just catch out the. Uh, I think Echo Pulse right there, and Echo Pulse will be going down, super early being used there. Uh, okay, the Echo Pulse is dead, but he had an age of so that not big a deal, nothing. Oh, he's got a dual damage out of it, and they do kill off the Coddle, finally, FMG gone, it's time for 60 seconds. The Brutal Brother though, just died, Madara, fighting alone, he can't withstand all this damage. They managed to kill him off as well, and Mage might die a second time, he has no escape route here at all. They do try to toss him to safety, in fact, the Lycan Pulse very well played MMT, and one because it's just a Necro Pulse, the slowest grandmother in the game. So he's gonna be dying here anyway. I mean, he heals back up ridiculously. If he survives this, I will cry murder. Thank God, Mage dies. My back time lapse. He will probably be back in full HP if he wants to do that. He can't have him still. No, cause... I actually don't know if it's the... Oh, you can only do the hair from my Careful. That's a great good old. This is exactly what they're looking for. In fact, the agent wants to get this look here. They could fight this though. He's very hopeful for this team fight. It's a killer. Oh, they're looking at first life for down the line. Goes back in there. But the body starts being infected. And Nye for now is surviving. There's just barely. But man, Nye just taking all the damage. Forcing Kazu to fight till the end and losing his agent. Skitter, however, Skitter. Realizing he's just not as effective as Nye. They really just lost him as well. They took away enough mud, or they took him away two times in a row, and now they will find Beaver as well. They don't have a Reaper site, but they don't really need it because Kezu will just find Beaver or Piper regardless. And there's also FMG. one last hero. FMG. Crazy for this <laughs> fun experience because six yeah. of them stack up, so I don't think yeah. it'll bring him to level 25, but another fight during Taper. Why? Okay, apparently, they catch the Coddle, this is really good, and they can find him, no, and she's been tossed to no man's land! They just want to get rid of him, they just want to for the Ancient, they don't want to kill anyone, they just want to destroy and finish this game! They're trying their best, they don't have enough stuns for now, the Ancient is going to have fun, but that actually hurts them a lot! Reaper is nice up and beat Miser, but beat Miser survives this entirely, that's a joy to kill off Kezu, that's one of the pushes out! Madara, the second one, they managed to stun him out! Madara, in the nice shots, close in, destroy, kill off two of them! Now going for maybe next time, they need to kill off the third pusher, and for now, See that maybe next time manages to blink away just in time! So well, Madara, the target, I mean, are you? Madara seems like you can still die. No! Those ice charts! Actually, it's not for going on Madara, this is really bad position to the end. Supernova is available, it's only for the Phoenix, but that's all that I needed. I actually killed the Wraith already once, now I have to fight against the Blue Lord, I'm gonna kill the the Phoenix first. They stunned out 9 though, you can't even stand this. Where is the Abyssal Blade? That's to how burn this, he can't actually be killed on the time. In comes FNG though, with a beautiful Illuminate. Killing off Kezu, now running away as a force that can still make it out of here alive. But another toss running in a bit, but FNG in that snowball, so right just a bit longer. As Skinner goes for the last kill for your being, maybe next time. For now, Lithium has lost a lot of people in that team fight. They didn't want to lose that much. Viber again, going in and getting this, or ensuring this kill happens. Kill Roche. Here we go again. Okay, FNG, careful. Yeah, please don't do this. If the Raid can just kind of sacrifice himself, you know, there's buyback anyway. He's just trying to kind of initiate. There's a duo for a fantastic. They catch a quick Phoenix. There's no more super off in this team fight, and the Raid King actually reincarnates. Baker's also dead. He managed to kill Nine, though. But Nine has a buyback. He's gonna come back immediately. And this team fight might actually won for Team Spirit. And they take down the Aegis. Goodbye, Broodmother. Nine comes back with a vengeance. Look how hard he hits. Just do it. The Mr. Blade is looking at go. Hi. Goodbye to Kezu. I think this guy, this might have been the win for them. 
I think Lithium may have just lost the sky. But is shown with the Radiant Sentry. And oh, but Skier's like, nope! Ready. None of your shenanigans. Nine knows he can just take the Asian. Though, all by himself. Oh my god, it's a race. I mean, it is a race. It's a race now. It's a race with the RTs to BKB. Up in the... Oh no, and he's just lying to Nine. Nine hits two hard. That dual damage is working too nice with Nine. We'll take it down and win for Team Spirit. They secure the most ethical fashions of their spot in the close qualifiers to the ESO1 Hamburg.